So there it is. Predicting the future. Okay, there. It's late. <laughs> it's way late. And I've been up for, oh, nearly 24 hours. And I've had only about three hours of sleep. But I had to record this. This is a historic day in American history, if not world history. <laughs> um, now, I'll do something. 2 a.m. something, um, November 5th, 2008, and it's the sort of morning after the election. Um, I think this day will go, on, go down in history is my generation's version of where were you when? The My mother and father had the question of where were you when Kennedy was shot? Well, I think my generation will have the question of where were you when you learned that Obama became the president? And I'll share my story. I'm going to put it on cyberspace so that hopefully I won't forget. And while it's fresh in my mind, I was da -da -da, working at the polls. <laughs> we were we closed it up and um, we were putting everything away when the guy, the host of the place that we were working came in and said, well, we have the 44th president. And then we said, well, yeah, we kind of know that's going to happen. I mean, the whole election thing, and there's no incumbent, right? He said, no. McCain just gave his concession speech. And I swear it was about, probably only about, what, 30 minutes after, but, and even that news was late. And we just stood there in awe. <laughs> what? Could it really be? I mean, we all actually... I think all of us were Obama supporters at <laughs> that one precinct, but we just didn't expect it to be this quick. It's just a, uh, it's, wow, such a historic day. It's not just this thing in the U.S. I mean, it's something, it's a tidal wave across the world. And I was here to see it. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. My grandmother didn't even think she'd see it in her lifetime. And we've witnessed it. It's amazing.